The first screen that you're going to see when you pop open the app is the prompt to enter in a code. You'll get your code from your event page by simply hovering over your name, going to your event, and on the right hand side going to timing and results, uh, timing software. Uh, from the timing software page you'll pick what version of the app you're using. In this example we're, we're reviewing the Apple and the Android tablet. Basically they look the same and behave the same. So you're going to go get your code and here it just gives me my code right away. Normally you'll be asked a few questions and I'm going to hit new reset. You're probably going to just have one green button when you first start and that's fine. I'm giving you a demo from software that I've already used. So now the first screen that you're going to see, you're going to notice that there are two distances and they both say that they start on September 17th. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to make this so that they start today. Today's October 27th, 2000. So now that I have both clocks rolling, you'll see that they're in green. Let's just say that my event hasn't started yet. Okay, so this one shows that it starts October 28th at 8 a.m. and it's in red and it's counting down. So in this case, let's just go ahead and pop it back to the 27th and update that. So now both of these events are running. To record, you simply can key in bib numbers as you see them and hit add. Let's go ahead and add a couple. Um, so if you see a runner running with bib 25, Sam here from Davis, uh, you'll see that it pre-fills this information. It hasn't yet recorded their time. Right when they run through, Sam you can add. Speaker actually announce their name. Uh, you can change that speaker setting up here in settings and turn it off or turn it on. Live publishing means that the moment you record someone, it sends the data up to Ultra Sign Up. So if you're going to do live tracking, make sure the live publish is checked. If you don't have internet connection or cell coverage, then leave this unchecked. Let's say that you accidentally recorded 25, but you meant 36. So let's go ahead and re remove him. So um, we're going to say yes, remove. Now let me jump back in and record the person that I wanted to record and hit Jerry add. Run. And, and you'll see that it recorded this guy Jerry and it has a one. So as you can see, this one here, obviously the 50K is doing like a multiple loop type of course. So in this case, Jerry has come through the first lap. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and take a look at what this bib tap view looks like now the bib tap view all you need to do is simply tap on these bibs and it records a time for them so let's take let's just go ahead and tap on 100 mark gilligan. now that just cleared out mark gilligan now that means that he must be running the 25k because that's a single tap and it goes black. Now, if 36 comes running around again, okay, so it looks like the 25K are running one lap, the 50K is running two lap. All you need to do is tap that 36 Very again hard. and you'll see it blacks that out. But it gives you a nice indicator that, okay, this guy, Jerry, he ran two laps, okay? Up here in this corner, you can also click it and say, yes, we want to delete that last lap from Jerry because that was a mistake. So it's very easy to use. Um, and you see that as you record people, they're going to fall into the results. You can get to the results from the menu here. And as you look at the results, you'll see that we have two people in the 25K. No one has finished the 50K, but also take a look at the remaining report. That's also kind of a fun report to look at because then you can see actually who is out there still on the course. So let's, let's take a look at 36. Let's go back over to um, the main page. And, and as you can see, it, it showed 36 is still on the remaining. That means that, yeah, we've recorded a record for 36, but they're not actually finished yet. So let's go ahead and click it again. And now let's go back over to the results and look at the 
50k and yep sure enough there's Jerry and we can see that he finished two laps and now on the remaining report we only have Cindy remaining and so uh, this makes it really easy and simple to see what's going on with your event and how many people are left let's say that 352 actually should have been a DNS they're not here okay so let's go into tools and go to change participant status so the way you do that is you can just keep it to did not start and go 352 and hit update. So let's say at the beginning of your race you have a stack of bibs that people just didn't show. What I would do is just take that stack of bibs and just go through them, adding in the bib, hitting green update, adding the bib, green update, and just simply do all your did not starts right off the bat. We'll see that there's not even a 352 anymore. So that really helps clear up your screens. Let's go in and make 333 a DNF. So let's go find 333. So we could just go up to the, uh, the finder up here and that's going to allow us to obviously we can just click right here but if we really want to if we have a lot of people we could just type 333 we could bring up their information mark them as it did not finish and hit update and that's going to take 333 out of the event out of the bib view so that's that makes it really easy to um, so there's two ways to change the participant status one is to find them and edit their record. You don't even need to find them. You could go into keypad. Anywhere you see their name, you can click on it and bring up. Now, you obviously don't want to click on the bibs because that's going to record time. You can change their, their the times, the split times. So it's a really easy app. Another really important uh, step to make during and after the event is go into your tools and hit data backup. When you do that, that sends all the data for the event up to Ultra Sign Up so that we have a copy of it in case anything happens to the device. Lastly, if you go to the help screen, you'll see that our email is in here and our 800 number. If you have any problems whatsoever, out at your event or you have any questions please call we try and make ourselves available on race morning so that we can guide you and help you if you have any questions or issues whatsoever lastly once you're done playing around with the app testing it out um, go into the tools menu uh, right here go to new reset race type in your code and hit new reset and this is just going to wipe out all your data and pull all new fresh data down from ultra sign up and reset your event and you're all set for your race day okay make sure you do that before uh, once your registration closes so that you capture everyone and also make sure you assign your bibs before um, you leave for your race you can only assign bibs on ultrasignup.com